Hey folks, it's been a while. We have some catching up to do. So, um, computing updates, I think, since I haven't made a video in so long, it will be for February and March. Quite a, few quite a few things have gone on since then. The two machines here are exactly the same as they were. Nothing's changed at all. I've been enjoying this HP monitor, though. It's been very nice and very reliable. Um, what else has happened? Uh, I have some previews for stuff we're going to look at. This bag should reveal enough by itself just by looking at it. We have this Dell laptop here I need to make a video of that was sent over by the Nostalgia Mall. I bought it, I bought it from him. So, yeah, this is going to be appearing in what I think is going to be an interesting video. Um, here we have a stack of iBooks I got off of eBay for 50 bucks. Yeah, it's a st we'll, we'll be getting into these because uh, I need to do some work on them. And that includes replacing the drive, which if any of you have worked on these know that's not fun. So we'll be getting to that eventually as well. They came with the, with the book as discs, though, so that's kind of cool. So we got plenty of vintage computer stuff on the way, even if you can consider 2001 vintage. I guess it is now. God, I'm getting old. <laughs> So I decided um, that my Surface 3, that I forget if I even made a video of for you guys, wasn't very good. Uh, it, makes a, it makes a pretty good um, cheap computer, but it, it's really not cheap enough to be a cheap computer. And Windows is not a very good tablet OS because the app selection is atrocious. So I ended up picking up one of the brand new iPads, uh, the sixth generation ones that literally just came out. I got that... Friday, I want to say. Yeah, I got it Friday at the mall. And uh, I've been much happier with it. It's got most of the apps I need. Uh, I decided to not get an Android tablet because the market for Android tablets is pretty much dead. Now, it could be revived by this, uh, this Chromebook tablet idea that Acer has that's being sold to the education market to compete with the iPad and uh, other tablets and whatnot. I think the, cr I think merge the merging of Chrome OS and uh, Android is a good idea. Uh, it'll make everything that much more useful and the two-in-one idea will make so much more sense that way as far as the Google platforms are concerned. I decided to go with the iPad simply because these are uh, as weird as Apple can be about certain things. The iPad they got right because it's very consistent and has a good app store with a good selection of the stuff that I use. And the, it get these get OS updates for a long time. You don't have to worry about the the fragmented Android world um, on an iPad, which is nice. So I decided to go with that. My Surface Three, I'll probably probably be selling pretty soon. So yeah, recoup some of the money I paid for this, so it will end up not costing me a whole lot. Cool. Just a random little side note. I found I found this iPhone 5s that my mom used to have uh, in a box from when I was moving. I was like, oh, hey. So I, I uh, booted up to see if it still worked, and it actually runs iOS 11. How about that? So this thing will probably be getting sold along with the Surface 3 as well. Now, guys, get ready to meme really hard. Guess what I did. Just guess. I switched out my bedside computer. <gasps> oh, the meme is back. It is back. Fresh. Fresh, 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 well, not very fresh. This meme is really old, but anyway, I switched out the bedside computer with my System76 Gazelle laptop because I was hitting the CPU really hard on the, uh, the ThinkPad X260, believe it or not. So I decided to take a look at the CPU performance between the X260 and the X230, and the difference is almost doesn't exist. It's really really not an upgrade like I thought it was so that's my fault for not researching I decided to just park this guy here which uh, is a much better laptop it's a Cabby Lake quad core i5 um, 16 gigs of RAM I believe yeah 16 gigs of RAM uh, I stuck that 480 gig Intel SSD that I've always used on um, my bedside computer into this machine I bought one of these Amazon Basics laptop holder things, and the lips in the front stick up a little bit, so I've had to tape some cardboard together to uh, prop the laptop up so it doesn't hurt my wrists to type on it. 
and uh, that's been working famously well. Uh, there's less space for the trackball now, obviously, but uh, yeah, it works quite well. Uh, been very happy with this laptop. Has a much better screen. Has much more screen real estate, so that I can actually, uh, you know, see things properly, like web pages and whatever that have really big pictures, or um, even video. It helps a lot with video too. I can just I can look at stuff in 1080p now, and the screen isn't a, isn't a washed out TN panel like it was on the ThinkPad. That ThinkPad X260 screen is awful compared to this. This has a nice IPS panel, which I'm very thankful for. So this guy is going to sit here as uh, the bedside computer. I've been it's been my bedside computer for almost, I want to say almost a month, maybe even a little bit more than that now, and it's been working famously well. I really like it. Good keyboard, nice ba nice and backlit. Uh, good microphone, kind of awful speakers to be honest, but they're not. But they're they're loud enough that I can hear what's going on in a video. Because I often use my bedside computer to play a YouTube video to fall asleep to, because it gives my brain something to do, uh, so that I don't just let thinking about what I have to do the next day just take over my whole thought process and keep me awake. So, you know, as long as it makes noises, it's good, <laughs> as far as that's concerned. So. Yeah, the System76 Gazelle has been a fantastic bedside computer. Uh, it just has Intel graphics, too, so it's it's an upgrade from the, the X260, but it's not like a drastic upgrade, like like if I were to put a gaming laptop here or something, but I don't need that. I don't, I don't game next to my bed. It's just not a thing, so. Yeah, so that's pretty cool, I think. I also got a new phone. I got the Google Pixel 2 because I was getting sick of Motorola not uh, being so timely with their updates. I, I finally have grown tired of that whole thing about not keeping up with security patches and not keeping up with um, Android versions. So I've decided to just go Google for uh, Android phones from now on, especially, that, especially since you can finance them uh, pretty well at this point. So you're not going to, you don't always have to pay the 650 up front. And uh, I've been very very happy with this phone so far I think I'm definitely gonna be buying Google phone Google branded phones from now on the pixel series and whatnot been very very satisfied with the software experience and the hardware is pretty nice too so thumbs up for me now as far as updates to the channel go uh, I have done I've gotten slightly more serious about it uh, even though I haven't been posting videos um, I have decided to make a discord uh, chat group channel thing for uh, for here at the Elmo 3 channel so that link is going to be in the description on every video from now on so if you guys want to come in there and chat feel free I'm not the I'm not the most super super social creature on the planet so I might not chime into group chat all the time but I'll, I'll be in there from time to time it's that's mostly there for you guys to hang out uh, more than it is for me so you know if you want to hang in there and be nerdy with me and some other folks, uh, definitely feel free to join the Discord. Um, I've also created a Patreon, and I know, I know, e-begging, yeah. and uh, that that's mostly there as a donate button. YouTube doesn't really offer that feature for some reason. They do on streams, but they don't for just, like, a YouTube channel, which is really, really annoying. I wish they would... I wish that feature would be integrated so it just hits your AdSense. I think that what they used to have would go straight into your Google Wallet, which was, you know, pretty much like a PayPal competitor type of thing. But yeah, uh, on every video from now on, there'll also be a Patreon link. I'm not going to be one of those people that does early access to videos or uh, promotes the Patreon like crazy, like they're making a living off of it, because obviously I'm not. And... Um, you know, it, it'll just be there as an option. If you want to throw money at this channel, uh, it does help out. You know, things like better cameras and um, editing software and whatnot is what that would probably go towards, along with items to make videos about, such as these. So, you know, you, no pressure to do it, but the option is there if you if you feel like it. Otherwise, you know, this channel is going to stay the same as it always did. Uh, I think the Discord's a bigger deal because there's a lot more interaction there. So, you know, I just thought I'd let you guys know uh, that those are available and uh, they will be links down the description on new videos from now on. So, yeah, this channel's gotten slightly more serious now. <laughs> Very slightly. 
you know, I'm, I'm very true to myself and things don't change very much, but I thought this would be a good idea and I should see how it goes, you know. So, that's been computer updates and a couple channel updates uh, for February and March. Not a whole lot happened, to be honest. Um, I was sort of, I was half taking a break, half kind of busy. Uh, so not a lot of it, well, pretty much no videos got made actually, so it, it was a pretty dry couple of months there, but um, now that I have a lot more material to work with, I think that we're going to start getting back to making videos every week or two. Uh, so, yeah, we're definitely going to uh, move forward now, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and have a good one everybody. Ciao.